Hi guys, I feel so ashamed to be starting my vlog like this because I should have done this intro so long ago. Let me prop you guys up somewhere, wait. Is that good? I mean, honestly, it's just gonna have to do because I do not have the effort right now. How can I close this overhead light? I don't think I can do it. Basically, I'm so ashamed because I'm starting this vlog on day two and at the end of day two, which is just, it's not good. This lighting is not cute. Nothing about this is cute. Basically, guys, I have a week of events and I was like, why not bring you guys along? I don't think I've done a vlog in a while. I'm not sure if this is the next vlog that's gonna come out or if it's gonna be the vlog on my ooh, focus 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 yeah basically my teeth vlog was meant to come out like two weeks ago from when i'm recording this but then like i had it all edited guys and then my laptop it just glitched like it didn't even like fall and then like just messed up like it just it was just perfectly fine on my lap and then next thing you know i never saw it again <laughs> and it's beyond saving Ahmed's literally been telling me he's like thank god it broke so that you could just get rid of that junk and to be fair it was time for me to get another laptop and it was time for me to get a macbook like it's just time it makes sense with my career to get a mac i've just never got along with macbooks like i just don't understand how to work them how to use them and they've always been really confusing for me so that's gonna be a journey in itself so what you guys are gonna see is you're gonna see me at soho house festival with ghd i was meant to do an intro that day and then just like time just escaped me and then obviously didn't end up doing it so i'm gonna let you guys just go and watch that now we're gonna let that end then we'll talk about it then i'll do the intro for today and then we could just be back on track i hope this isn't like really jarring for you guys to watch in this order <laughs> such a fun day with ghd like i've obviously never experienced that kind of thing and i've i haven't been to a festival since i was like 16 i expected to stay for much longer and then i just I, am i just not about it anymore like is that what's actually happening to me because it got to like six and i was at my limit like at my limit my feet were killing me i was so hot and sweaty it was such a disgusting heat that day like it wasn't even warm it was like humid and like hot like a rainforest like it was just the most disgusting weather ever it's so funny because i was in the group chat the girls were like who's gonna be playing blah 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 and i was like oh, i don't know anybody all i know is like a band called sugar babes is gonna be there and they were like you know who sugar babes is you idiot i grew up on sugar babes and i didn't even realize that it was sugar babe I'm not gonna lie guys like i don't really know who i am going to all these events because i have so much on my plate right now with the wedding and everything coming up that i feel like up to my neck in stress the event that i went to today was an event held by nyx cosmetics and it's a barbie party which was so much fun like it was just so fun to see everybody dressed up in different versions of barbie seeing how many ways there are to style a pink outfit <laughs> Vita longe que tá já fazer Não me queres acompanhar Um, dois e três Yeah Quero ver-te a dançar mais uma vez Com os pés E o corpo todo a banar Um, dois e três Yeah. 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 Yeah.
parecer Mas também sei que hás de gostar guys like i'm just tired of doing my makeup like do you know how insane it is that i do my makeup practically every single day okay we need to get ready and we need to get ready fast 50 minutes to be fully ready and out the door which to be fair that's not bad like my hair's done i know what i'm wearing it's a better situation than i've been in like 90 percent of the time i don't think i even brought a mirror i'm just gonna have to use this one i hate that my voice sounds like this like you can tell that i've literally just woken up Oh, there's a little ladybug on my window okay let's talk life updates so i don't know if i've mentioned it on my youtube yet guys but i'm literally i'm moving house at the end of this month which has been stressing me out i'm not gonna lie i spent like an entire day just trying to declutter my space you know what it is obviously as an influencer you get sent so much free shit which is great and i will obviously never complain about that but you end up keeping things that you think that you will use it only takes time in this job to realize that you're not going to use half of these products mostly because i'm so busy as well like i just don't even have time to sit there and do like a face mask every night so if i don't do a face mask every night how am i gonna get through like five tubs of face masks do you know what i mean like it's just not gonna happen so i was trying to declutter my space because i'm like look like if i'm moving i need to just not take all of this shit with me like i need to be able to just take things that i need and that was a mission like that was such a mission it's scaring me for the whole packing up process there is honestly nothing worse than moving like genuinely it is the bane of my existence like i hate moving so much and i've moved a lot guys like through uni and stuff like we would change our apartment every year i feel like having that on top of the fact that like i'm going to kurdistan soon obviously so i've booked my tickets now i'm going in like the big the first week of august so to move out at the end of this month and then go to kurdistan immediately to stop like just the anxiety is just i'm not joking like i literally wake up every single day and remember all my responsibilities and then just get hit by this overwhelming anxiety let's talk wedding planning like i said in the last vlog venue's been picked so we have the venue food is all done as for like music entertainment my mother-in-law was like like don't worry about that like we'll sort that out it's so nice to be doing this in kurdistan and have like my mother-in-law helping me out and stuff because like they know people they know who to like get for entertainment and for music i don't know whether me and Ahmed should enter to like a romantic song or on a vibe thing for the engagement we entered with aziz wazy because of her, which if you know it then you know it and that is like a very lit song i feel like we've already done that and it would be nice to enter on a romantic like song my mom is just constantly like you have to enter with a romantic song like she was sending me so many romantic songs trying to get me to enter with them for the engagement we also booked our photographer and videographer it's the same company you know what everybody on instagram was so helpful when it came to that i got so many dms so many people helping me out and i was just like everyone is so sweet everyone's so kind where's my brush my only issue with them is that they photoshop things to like the next level like there is a little you know a little bit of airbrush a little bit of you know take that pimple out whatever and then there's like literally looking like your skin is not even like your skin like you don't you, you don't even look real clearly that's the vibe that they're going for but it's most definitely not the vibe that i'm going for so i'm just gonna tell them like look do not edit my pictures just send me them just take the pictures and send me them like you don't even need to edit or do any anything just give them to me as they are please they're meant to be the best so we're gonna go with them a little bit of inside information for you guys i will be wearing a kurdish dress i feel like that's not even really inside information i mean is that not expected of me it's so weird because i had so many dms from you guys saying like you should wear a kurdish dress like it'll be such an iconic moment and i'm like do you think i'm going to get married and at some point not wear a Kurdish dress like what that's absurd I was kind of stressing out about it because I was speaking to my mother-in-law about this it takes such a long time for the clothes to be actually made so I was like oh my god like are we gonna get it done in time blah 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 and she's like no babe like trust me I've got somebody that can make it in like three days like don't worry about that so instead of having to pick the fabrics online which I've been trying to do the past two weeks my mom was on my ass oh my god she's like you know what thank god for my mom because if, she, if it wasn't for her like I wouldn't even take the time out to do things but she's literally on my ass did you find this fabric did you do this did you book this mom i know you're watching this love you shout out to you sorry for the abrupt ending guys i just need to quickly get ready because i really don't want to be late my driver's actually only just arrived and the event starts in 10 minutes that's not good let's hope it's 10 minutes away 
I don't even know yet but I'm all dressed in this black silk shirt from Zara these pants are from Naked and then <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna be wearing these and these heels are from Tony Bianco I'm actually obsessed with this brand classy business casual I don't know how to describe this but that's what we're going for I'm gonna have to put my lip combo on in the car because we don't got time Giddy bouncing yeah. How is everyone? Is everyone excited? Are we like, yeah. Yeah. I've been using this religiously and you can use this before makeup, after makeup but it just makes your skin look really hydrated especially if you haven't been drinking water if you've been partying too much Bella never ever wears red lips like ever and all her makeup artists were like I hate you like you let Sophia Tilbury walk in and you do a red lip look and it just happened and it happened and it's written in the star <laughs> whether I'm doing like a sparkly eye or a matte eye this is a palette that I, I have to use never use it as like the Lip technique at first, and they are so like creamy. from the event. It was so much fun, wasn't it? Was it? We don't really get a lot of master classes. So, no, I don't think I've ever done one. Yeah, actually. I've never literally been to one either. So for our first one to be Sophia Tilbury doing it, like, Iconic. we're actually off to the CeraVe event now. We'll see you at the event. See you later. Okay, guys, I've officially had to switch over to the Canon. I think it'll be interesting to see how I like either one. Because if I like this, then I might just start doing this. And you guys are going to have to let me know if you prefer this portion. I might just do the rest of the vlog with this. And then we'll just see which one we prefer. Anyway, we got to the hotel. The guy taking me up from the reception was like, room number 33 is my favorite and you're gonna see why are you ready don't be blurry how stunning is this bathtub guys gorgeous and then we come over here i've actually not been in here yet i think this is just the, the bathroom cute we've got our little seraphy things this is what i'm currently using the hydrating cleanser i'm switching between this and the blemish control this is really good for um, cleansing your face after makeup and then I love this one. This is SPF 50. The one I have is not 50, so I'm glad to be getting that one. Ooh, I wonder what's in this. This is stunning. Wow, that is a fat shower. This is just gorgeous. We got some cute PJs. So we don't actually have anything on until 6. I have a good 3 hours to just like chill. Reply to my managers, guys. I've literally like not had the time to reply to anybody. And I hate ghosting people. You just get so busy. And obviously there's like a million and one things to do. Record this, take a picture of this and blah, 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 whatever. So took some fire pictures at the event though. You guys are going to have to go on my gram and go see them. I wonder if I posted them by now. This evening we're going to go and have dinner. And it's going to be so nice and chill. I look very tanned in this one though like this one makes me look super tan okay i already got in the pjs took myself into bed i was genuinely gonna take a nap but then i have too much work to do so i've just been editing on my phone replying to people i could end my day here happily i can't believe that i have to like now stay up for so long dinner's at seven by the time dinner finishes goodness me it's gonna be like 10 i mean the good thing is that the restaurant we're going to is part of the hotel so you just go out and you go to the restaurant so i, I guess at any point i could come back but i feel like i look really muddy on this as well my makeup looks weird and you know what else i don't like about this camera i don't like that the viewfinder is up here on the sony the one that i used before it's to the side so if i'm looking here it's less jarring for you guys to see me look here than it is to see me look here do you agree with that or do you not really notice it? Because some people actually vlog and the entire time they just look at themselves. Like they don't even look at the camera. And like obviously I want to see how I'm looking. To see if I'm even in focus. This camera's out of focus half the time. I'm bowling. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> look at this lunchbox. Like what is that? Every single time I see him, there's a new designer bag. I was thinking of my future kids. Good morning! I had the best sleep of my life. I need to find out exactly what pillows these are and what mattress and I need to get a bed in this exact same size because I felt 
sensational last night. I had the best sleep. I could have just slept and slept and slept, guys. I'm not even joking. I've just been doing my skincare and watching. Have you guys seen Zayn? Zayn Malik. It's his first interview in six years and he's on Call, call Her Daddy. I don't know why I was going to say call me daddy. I've been doing my morning skincare using CeraVe, of course. The little breakfast trolley came today. We've got eggs and avocado on toast. I also got some pancakes. Wow, these look sensational. I can't wait to get into these. Fresh orange juice, oat latte as always. We've got our cleansing weekly magazine from CeraVe. CeraVe cleansers. I'm literally not even going to take half of these home, guys, because I have them all. Just going to sit, have breakfast, watch the rest of this podcast with Zayn, and then check out in 45 minutes. To do that at that age, you know, like... I Think about all of it, then it's all good. Good morning, guys. It's a new day. I thought I would quickly come and speak to you before I head to my next event because I just don't want to keep doing montages and not speaking to you before I go to these events. But we're going for Pilates with L'Oreal. worst vlog ever guys i just feel like this has been a terrible vlog like back from the event i can't believe that my skin age is 21 years old i was genuinely really scared because after coming back from marbella you know your girl was tanning quite a bit so i was like have i got a lot of sun damage i had 99 percent and the best to have is obviously 100 so clearly i'm doing well i was actually just sat talking to armin my camera just died gonna have to continue on this one this is just the worst vlog ever like i'm just switching between cameras i'm just anyway yeah i've not seen him since the engagement party and i think it's really starting to get to me he's so busy i'm so busy like you've just seen we just have no time to even like be sat on the phone to each other for hours or like watch something together it's been like two months now and I really miss him and long distance is really really difficult you know what my issue is I want us to feel like super close before the wedding like we're getting married so I want to feel like really intensely close and by the same time like what can you do like we've both decided to get married during one of the busiest times of our lives I'm actually about to start recording I'm gonna be doing this today which is gonna be hilarious doing my makeup with mini hands this is gonna be so funny. Oh my god, let's not even talk about the pile of PR packages in the back there. This is gonna be so funny, guys. Like, at this point, the TikTok will obviously be up, so go watch it. I'm sure it's probably funny. I'm just really tired, guys. If you can't tell, I feel like this is all I'm talking about in this vlog. I feel like this has been the worst vlog, and I just, I'm gonna hate editing this back because I'm gonna be like, like, why did you even decide to vlog? Like, you should have just not vlogged. I guess we'll see. Well, let me know, guys, if you enjoyed this. And I think this is officially the end of this vlog. The worst vlog of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I promise you, the next ones are going to be so much better. Like, so much better. Life is about to get crazy. I hope you guys want to be there for the ride. So, love you. Bye-bye.